hello students in this lesson we shall learn about integers what are integers well the first numbers to be discovered were natural numbers so natural numbers start from 1 and it's 1 2 3 4 5 and so on now if we include a zero to this set of natural numbers we get a new collection of numbers and that is our whole numbers so whole numbers start from 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 and so on and if we add negative numbers to this set of whole numbers so negative 5 so it's minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 and then our 0 the whole number set 0 1 2 3 4 5 so this entire set becomes our integers right so natural numbers start from 1 whole numbers start from 0 and integers are all negative numbers or numbers with the minus sign 0 and our 1 2 3 that is our natural numbers now some students they find it difficult to remember as in um, from which number this natural number starts or whole number starts so the easiest way is if you are asked to start counting you would say obviously 1 2 3 4 you would not say 0 1 2 right so something which comes naturally to you is our natural numbers and if we add a zero to this set it becomes our whole number okay so i can say that integers is the collection of negative numbers that means the numbers with a minus sign zero and my positive numbers okay now why do we call these positive numbers when i'm writing one two three four five this can also be written as plus one plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5 and so on. So that means positive integers can be written with or without the plus sign but that would be considered as a positive integer. However, for negative integers, the minus sign is a must. You have to put a minus sign. Okay. Now, so we know that natural numbers are starting from 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on right so we can see the smallest natural number is 1 the, the largest natural number there is no largest natural number okay but the smallest natural number is 1 what about whole numbers so whole number starts from 0 so 0 1 2 3 4 and so on so we can see the smallest whole number is 0 largest whole number there is no largest whole number okay now coming to integers the smallest integers we do not have any smallest integer and for largest integer again there is no largest integer so remember that the smallest natural number is one there is no largest natural number smallest whole number is zero there is no largest whole number and smallest integer we do not have again largest integer does not exist okay now let's summarize what we learned we learned that integers are a set of positive numbers zero and negative numbers so positive integers are numbers greater than zero that is one two three four and so on Positive integers can be written with or without a plus sign. So, as we uh, discussed earlier, it could be either plus 1 or just 1. It means the same thing, right? Negative integers are numbers less than 0. So, how do we represent negative integers? All the negative integers are less than 0. So, we say minus 3 is less than 0. Negative integers must always be written with a negative sign, right? So, minus 4, minus 5, all these are negative integers. 0, 0 is neither positive nor negative. In the next lesson, we shall learn how to represent integers on a number line.